Fresh off of last night's season premiere of the CNBC show Restaurant Startup, Nashville's own Chef Reigns from the Chef and I Catering is here, and we are making an herb crusted flounder with vegetable succotash and a lemon caper sauce. Talk about that in just a second, but you were on the show last night. How was that experience for you and your wife? I tell you what, we had a great time, Leland. Um, we went out to Hollywood. We mm -hmm. filmed in one of the old, oldest studios. Um, it was definitely an eye opener for Erica and I. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of hours of filming, and we had a blast. Good, good. And the interesting thing is, it just aired last night, but how long ago did y'all tape that? In April. In April. So yes. you had to be very quiet, couldn't say anything because of that agreement that you signed with the network, right? Exactly. We had to keep it hush, hush, and our staff actually thought we had won. Uh -huh. So we, I guess we did a good job. Good, good. <laughs> well, congratulations for being a part of the show. Thank you. Now, one of the things that you were doing on the show and just that you like to do is kind of recipes that are good for the whole family and fun for the whole family. And that's what we're dealing with today. That's exactly right, Leland. What, what we like, we love to cook fresh. We love to cook whole. And that's what's healthy for you. And mm -hmm. with the new year and you're trying to do a new thing for your family, this is a perfect recipe um, that you can do here. And this is kind of the stuff we do at the restaurant. This is actually a variation of something this week. Fantastic. Go ahead and get us started. All right. Wild caught, caught flounder. A uh, little tip, go to your seafood counter, ask to see the fish, smell the fish. It shouldn't smell like ammonia. It shouldn't have a strong flavor. It shouldn't be slimy at all. Get you a nice piece of fish. Your neighbor, she always tries to give you herbs. Take them. Take them, take them. Cook with them. Right here, I got some fresh basil. We're gonna sprinkle that right in there, just like that. We're gonna do fresh oregano and thyme. Look at that, a little salt, mm -hmm. a little pepper. All right. And that's all you're gonna add to the fish. Okay other than this little olive oil. And I'm now let, let me you... ask, we got flounder, would this work with any other type of fish that would be good? It, it sure will, any kind of fish. If you love salmon, that's great. If you like uh, tilapia, that's great. Any, any type of fish it'll work with. This is a great basic seasoning with fresh ingredients and really healthy for you. I'm gonna let you throw it in the pan there, Leland. You're gonna start with a little olive oil and you wanna go hot. Mm -hmm. That's the most important part because with, with me, when we're cooking as chefs, we're looking for texture. Yes. So we want a crispy outside and a tender inside. So I'm gonna let you just kind of mix this around here and you're gonna go right in, right into that oil. Now always drop the fish away from you. Okay, so like this? Yep, Way back. start right there, yep. Okay. And there we go. Ah, uh, gotcha. That's right, you don't want it to splash up, mm -hmm. burn your arms, that happens to me all the time though. I don't, I don't follow that rule. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal, so we got that going. And then what I did last night, and this is something too, I know everybody's on a time crunch at home. You can do this the day before, you mm -hmm. can do it that morning before you go to work. I took some uh, vegetables, I took some butternut squash, some fresh green beans and mushrooms, mm -hmm. onions, you can use anything you want. And I just tossed them in a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and I roasted them in the oven till they're about 90% done. Okay. Took them out, threw them in the fridge, and that is gonna create our hash. And again, I talked about texture earlier, so yeah. that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a little olive oil in this pan too. It was a little cold, it was outside, it's taking its time. To get it <laughs> and we're gonna add those vegetables right back in there. Look how beautiful those are right there. And we're gonna, just gonna get a crispy texture on those as well. All right. And see, and we seasoned them yesterday, so okay. you don't have to worry about seasoning them anymore. So you got that. And also, quickly tell me about uh, the caper sauce there. This is beautiful. I took a little yogurt, any kind of yogurt you like. Probably stay away from the blueberry. That won't work too well. Mm -hmm. A little cucumber, a little capers, a little salt, because salt is a must. And let's take some of these fresh herbs there, too. How about that? How about a little lemon juice? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're just going to mix all that together. And this is kind of a, a play off of tzatziki sauce, which is a, a Greek dipping sauce you can mm -hmm. get you for your euros yeah. and stuff like that. And this is going to be a nice complement to the fish. Okay. It's going to be cold, so you're going to have your hot texture of your fish and your hash. Yes. You're going to have the cold sauce right here. It's just a delicious. And that's what it looks like when everything is said and done. Boy, that looks good. This is recipe number 5473. It's available on our website at newschannel5.com. You can also go check out the folks over at the Chef and I Catering, and they would be more than happy to hook you up. As always, thank you very much for thank being with so us. Thank you so much, Leland.